Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and we have our alternative bill for the LEGO Nexo Knights Lance vs Lightning 70359, which is another cool Nexo Knight set, and we've turned it into the alternative bill we're calling the LEGO Nexo Knights Gargoyle Defense, which includes a mech for Lance, a forbidden power shrine, and upgrades for Grimrock. So if you want to make this, you can check out the step-by-step -step build tutorial at the end, but first, let's check out the builds. And first up, we did have a few parts left over, which included the two Technic Beams, which you could add to the build if you wanted to use them up. Then for Gargoyle we decided to arm him with two lightning torches to give him some better weapons. Moving on though we come to our favourite creation Lance's android mech which we thought could be another one of Robin's cool creations that has a good robotic design. So starting with the legs, they're both very flexible thanks to the double ball joint connections. Then for their construction, we took inspiration from Mixels to make these slope grey block feet that add stability to the mech. Plus they look good. And for the rest of the legs, we added grill and brick pieces to bulk out the armour. Now above the legs, we've created a small cockpit for Lance that has these movable raised handlebars on the sticker tile, which is where you can place in the night to take control of the mech. And you simply clip him in, then fold up the handlebars ready for battle. Following on from the cockpit, the mech, like the legs, has ball jointed flexible arms which are identical and they both have dark blue plate shoulder armour. But they have different weapons because this left arm has a trans orange claw which might come in handy for climbing. Then to change things up on the right arm we attach the lance weapon you get in the set to this decorative hand which we made from this silver sticker towel to give the mech a sword like weapon so it can slice through the stone monster army. We also decided to increase lance's firepower by attaching this blaster cannon on the mech's left shoulder that's got a long black barrel with clip for lance's shield that can provide extra protection for the machine and have handy storage. And in play you can aim this weapon side to side to blast any attackers. Then finally we come to the mech's android head which has a central orange eye as well as a good brick build design with a dark blue sloping armour piece at the top that all combines well to give a face to this cool vehicle. And if we turn to the back you can see the mech's bare construction as well as these movable lightning bolt pieces that are thrusters for the mech's jump pack that give flight to the vehicle. So that's Lance's new mech which gives the knight an awesome vehicle to battle the stone monster army. Next up we can show you the upgrades for Grimrock which are fairly simple because we got rid of his spear weapons and gave him some lightning wings so he can battle Lance in the air. And these wings can move up and down for play but they can also be taken off easily because we built them into this dark grey wing pack which allows you to put them on or take them off when you need them. So overall these new wings for Grimrock are a simple upgrade but they will expand play because he can challenge Lance to a battle in the air which adds to the fun. And last up is the Forbidden Power Shrine that's a rock build we made for the Stone Monster Army. So as you can see it's got a dark grey base with a big stone wall that has two columns in front of it that have statues to decorate them. But we also thought we'd clip on the lightning balls on top of the statues so they can stand guard over the power. Now the shrine has blue and black tiles and plates that make a colourful floor that leads up to the forbidden power that hangs in the centre of the stone wall. And at the top of the shrine there's flagpoles with a black and blue defensive catapult tower in the middle which is what you can use to defend the shrine. And if we swivel to the back you can see the build from this side but this is also where you fire the catapult in play to launch the lightning balls at Lance to defend the shrine. So overall this Forbidden Power Shrine was a nice build to make to use up parts but it also makes a good attack and defend objective to battle over. On a final note our Gargoyle Defense alternative build was a nice creation to make to change up play for this set. Because Lance has a fully poseable flying mech that he can get in to unleash cool weapons on the Stone Monster Army and the Stone Monster Army get an improved flying Grimrock to challenge him in the air. Then to go with these two you have a Forbidden Power Shrine that looks good but also adds to play with its catapult and it's a fun place for Grimrock, Gargoyle and the Lightning Balls to defend from Lance in his mech. So you should be able to have some great battles here and we hope you like all of it as much as we do because if you want to make it, here's the step by step build tutorial.
And that's the finished build, so now you can enjoy this gargoyle defense, or maybe you've taken inspiration from the build to make something more awesome. Hope you enjoyed the Brick Bros UK alternative build, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.